I'm Grace with the Apostleship of Prayer, bringing you Pope Francis's universal prayer intention for June 2015, Immigrants and Refugees. We pray that immigrants and refugees may find welcome and respect in the countries to which they come. The website for Jesuit Refugee Service is one of many excellent resources to learn more about immigrants and refugees. I was very moved by a Mother's Day reflection I found on their site. The story is about a woman whom they call Amaryllis, who fled Colombia with her three children. They became refugees in Panama to escape the brutal violence in their home country, as well as the forced conscription of children into the military and paramilitary. Unfortunately, Amaryllis and her children didn't necessarily find a warm welcome in their new country. For example, they were at the grocery store one day and her five-year-old son broke some glass. Pretty typical. But the response was not typical. The store called the police and held the family there until the police finally arrived late at night, 11 in, in the evening. When the police did arrive, they separated Amaryllis from her children and hauled them all off to jail. Becoming documented asylum seekers is a terribly complicated process. But until immigrants and refugees have documents, they are often treated as criminals. I don't know how to solve the complicated problems of refugees and immigrants in Colombia and Malaysia and Europe and the United States all over. But I am grateful for the work of places like Jesuit Refugee Service, and I'm grateful for our prayers. Our prayers make a difference. Really, prayer changes things. Thank you for joining with us in prayer this month for immigrants and refugees.